Hey you guys, Cece back with another video and as we all know from this setting, we're going to do another declutter. So before we get started with this video, if you have not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also click the little notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. I would love to have you join the family if you have not already. So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And you guys already know the deal. Pause this video right now and comment down below how many highlighters you think this is right here. As you can see, I don't have as many as I thought I had. I know some of you are probably like, girl, quit playing. But we're going to go ahead and declutter this even further. And I, I, like I said, I know y'all are probably like, girl, that's a lot of highlighters. And it is a lot of highlighters for the average person. But this is what I like to do. Y'all already know this by now. So it is what it is. So did y'all guess? Did you guess? I have 52 5 2 highlighters sitting right here in front of me. So, um, not terrible, but again, um, we need to get this down a little further. My drawer is getting full, and I just want to get rid of the stuff that I am not using. So, let's go. Right off the bat, I'm going to pull out some keepers here. I have this brand new Morphe highlighter. I actually just bought it from Ulta a couple of weeks ago, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep my MAC. This is Whisper of Guilt, which is just the, one of the most beautiful highlighters ever. So we're also keeping that one. And I could never give this up because of the packaging. I don't even love the product inside, you guys, but I must keep this because of the gorgeous packaging and embossment so I'm definitely keeping that I seriously don't know if we're gonna get rid of a lot here in this video but we're gonna try one that I know I can get rid of is this Laura Geller gilded glow this is a body frosting which you know what the only time I use stuff like this is when I go on vacation and I just bought a Fenty one that I really really love and this is just a waste so I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. I think I've only used this once. So I'm gonna go ahead and list this on my Poshmark if anyone's interested. My Poshmark link is always down below in my description box. There's a lot of makeup on there right now. So go ahead and check it out. All right, so right off the bat, let's go through my Fenty's here. I have this one. This is the uh, Kilowatt like duo and it's in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And it looks like this. That's actually really pretty. But will I ever use this again? Probably no. So this is going to be also listed on my Poshmark. All right, I gotta get cutthroat here, y'all. This is another duo. This one's in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. And this one's a little more subtle, but again, I'm not sure if I would ever reach for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go as well. So the last highlighter that I have is one that I know I'm keeping and it's Trophy Wife. This is another one that I don't think I'm gonna wear very often at all because it's like super blingy but I can't see myself getting rid of this right now. Just look at that. Like it is like super duper blingy, but I'm keeping it. You know what? I'm rethinking this Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule because I can actually wear this as a blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one as well. Let's pull some more keepers. I know I wanna keep these Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio highlighters. These are amazing. I also wanna keep this Anastasia this is the Amarizi, which I've shown you guys a million times, and it's just pure gorgeousness, so I'm definitely keeping those. And I'm also keeping these two Essence highlighters. These are their pure nude highlighters that I talked to you guys about way too much on this channel. If you haven't went and bought these yet, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm definitely keeping both of those as well. These two highlighters here are a part of my project pan, so I'm definitely gonna keep those. I'm gonna try to use those up a lot this year, so we're keeping those. Okay, so I have four of these e.l.f. highlighters. Let's look at the, not e.l.f., these are ColourPop highlighters. Let's look at these and see what I really want to keep. This one I feel like is just super light and I wouldn't use. This one's in Lunch Money. I don't even look like I've swatched this, so I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. This one is in Might Be, and this one's actually really, really pretty. 
doesn't look like I swatched it but it's super cute this one's in k-pop glow up this was from the Karuchi collection and I actually really love that one and then this one right here is called churro and this one's really pretty too but it's super close to the glow up do you guys see how close those two are let me see oh, so pretty those are like the same color they even give off the same like reflections as I'm moving my hand around that's seriously the same highlighter yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and keep churro because it looks newer and I'll just get rid of the k-pop glow up and then I'm also gonna get rid of this one in might be I've never even swatched it and so I really don't need it so I'm gonna let that go Another one that I can get rid of is this. This is the Manizer Sisters. So this is by The Balm. And if you guys remember like Mary Luminizer, Cindy Luminizer, and Betty Luminizer, these um, were like amazing back in the day. Everybody had especially Mary Luminizer, which was such a good highlighter, but I just never reach for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. And this is like brand new. I don't think I've ever used it. I actually got it for Christmas. Another one that I can get rid of is this Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powder. I'm just not gonna use this, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. I tried it once, it wasn't that great, so that is gone. Let's go ahead and pull a few more keepers. I absolutely wanna keep this number seven highlighter. It's such a nice, subtle, everyday highlighter. I also wanna keep this Mac and Patrick Star highlighter. This is just so beautiful and the thing is huge, but I have another Mac and Patrick Star highlighter from his other matte collection and so I'm gonna get rid of this one it's so pretty with the limited edition packaging but I don't want to just keep it around for the packaging uh, I don't love it enough to keep it around for the packaging so I'll let it go but this one this one stays honey okay so we're making some progress I want to keep only this Ofra highlighter. This one is in Blissful and it's one of my favorite highlighters ever. This one here is in Everglow. I think it was like the Nikki Tutorials one, but I'm just not gonna use it, so I'm gonna let that go as well. All right, let's do another round of Keepers. This Lancome Glow Subtle Highlighter. This was so pretty and it reminded me a lot of those ColourPop highlighters. So I am keeping that. I'm also going to keep this Dose of Colors. This is like the Desi and Katie collection highlighter. This one was in Chasing the Sun. Super pretty. I want to keep this... Too Faced Boxed Highlighter. This was from their Pretty Rich collection in Canary Diamond. I'm keeping that. And I'm also going to keep this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlighter as well. Okay. 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 Let's keep uh, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Let's keep that. Um... Just in case I do an all Sephora look, I wanna keep this Sephora highlighter in Golden Hour. I don't feel like I need it, but I feel like I want at least one highlighter in my collection from the Sephora brand, so I'm gonna keep that. Let's look at some of these liquids. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. Um, I just feel like, what is this one? This one's an opal. I'm going to keep the small one in opal and I'm going to get rid of the one in Prosecco Pop. I've never even used this and it's a full size. But this will take up less space and if I do decide to use it, I'll have a small one to use. So I'm going to keep opal. I'm also going to keep these two. This is the Butter London Glazing Highlighting Gel. And then this one is the Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter. Ooh, those colors are super similar. They're like super duper similar. Let's open them and swatch them. I'm actually going to open all of my jelly highlighters and we'll see. I only have three, but we'll see how similar in color they are. Oh, well, this one's super different. You can tell the difference with this one. It's like bronze. Yeah, that's like a bronzy. It's like right there right here yeah 
So then this one, let's see what other body parts I have left. This one, like a champagne-y with a pink tint. And then this one, oh, those look, the, those look the same. Those seriously look the same. Um, I'm gonna keep the Butter London, just because the Makeup Revolution is a little bigger, a little bulkier. I've probably only used this once, if that, but it's a little bigger, a little bulkier, so I can keep the Butter London. Oh, I didn't put my whole nail in there. And then I'll also keep the e.l.f. one. So we are making good progress. This is another thing I know I'm not gonna use. This is another like jelly highlighter-ish type product. It was really weird. Like you push the button and the product comes up. I don't know, it was super weird. And so I'm going to let that go. I will be keeping the, no I'm not. I was gonna say, I will be keeping these Cover FX glitter drops, but these were so glittery. I got this in a boxy charm. I wasn't a big fan of it. I used it once and I didn't love it. So I'm gonna let that go. I am going to keep these Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops though. This one's in the shade Moonlight and I will be keeping this because this isn't like straight glitter. That other one is like straight glitter. Um, I'm gonna let go of this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. This is the Jackie Ina and Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. I'm just not a huge loose powder fan so I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna let it go. Something I'm also going to get rid of that I didn't think I would be able to is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I used to love this and then recently I've kind of pulled this out and started using it and realized I don't love it as much as I thought I did. Like it's just not up to the quality of the other highlighters that I have and this is super old. It's even in the old packaging so that could be a part of it but I just don't love it anymore so I'm going to let it go. Becca Opal, I feel like I will never get rid of this highlighter. It's so gorgeous still to this day. Still a very soft and beautiful like blinging highlight shade and I'm just never gonna get rid of that. I can let go of this Maybelline, what is this? The Master Strobing Liquid, not gonna use it so that can go. I do want to keep these two though. These are the, they're just like liquid glow drops. This one is the MAC Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. And then this one, this is the Temp2 and BoxyCharm Liquid Glow Drops. I got this in BoxyCharm, so I'm going to keep both of those. I'm also going to keep this Jordana Glow & Go Creamy Strobing Stick. I actually use this quite a bit and I really really love it I don't know if you guys can see that right there but it's really pretty especially underneath the powder highlighter and this thing's like three bucks at the store the rest of these might be keepers let me see Anastasia Beverly Hills and Riviera these were like her first highlighters that she came out with like single highlighters and I had all of them but I got rid of all of them except for this one and I think I'm still keeping that because it was that gorgeous this is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This was like everybody's jam when it first came out. No one loved the bronzer, but everyone was like in love with this highlighter. I don't know if I'm sold on this highlighter anymore, like if I need it. It's gorgeous, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's necessary in my collection, so I'm gonna let it go. This Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar, I'm going to keep that because that is just amazing. I'm also going to, am I? Oh, I'm definitely keeping this. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. So we're down to the last two. I have this NARS highlighter. This one is in Capri. And it's like a little pretty mini. This one's pretty new, so I'm gonna keep this for a little bit. And then the last one is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Apricot. I bought this so long ago. It's still kind of pretty. I just never reach for it though, so I'm gonna let that go too. Out of 52 highlighters, we got rid of 18. That leaves us with 34 highlighters. So still a lot, but I did get rid of these 18 that I just knew I was not gonna use. So we have some Makeup Forever here, some Cover FX, Becca, Makeup Revolution, MAC, um, Artist Couture, 
The Bomb, Ruby Kisses, Bobby Brown, Ofra, Laura Geller, some more MAC, Maybelline, Fenty. This is Ver 22, I think that's the brand. And then three, ColourPop. I'm super happy with getting rid of as many as I got rid of. It wasn't exactly half, but it was about 40%, which I think is pretty good. So a lot of these will be listed on my Poshmark, like I said. If you guys are interested, just go ahead and check out my Poshmark and you'll see them up there. If there's any that you are interested in that you don't see on Poshmark, let me know and I will get them up there as soon as possible if they're in sellable condition. So... That's all for this video. More declutters to come. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you love declutters. And that's it. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.